It all started in Thailand, the land of smiles, where a roundtable discussion took place between the Thai Ministry of Education and the International Buddhist Society. Thai students were becoming more academically successful in their field of study, but the concern was on how to ensure that the students would grow up to become good people for society. IBS turned to the ancient and universal wisdom in Buddhism. As the principles to be applied to the modern lifestyle of today's youth, so they came up with a simple and practical solution of how to instill goodness within the hearts of our future generations, and launched a pilot project in just one school. Teachers and parents saw great changes in the students' behavior, both at school and at home. From just one school in 2008 with 300 students. Vstar Project Thailand has grown to over 5,000 schools and 200,000 students participating in the program on a yearly basis. Using universally accepted moral values, irrespective of race or religion, this concept paved the way to a new era in the Thai educational system. The outcome was the Virtuous Star, or what is now known as Vstar Project. This remarkable growth rate is due to the compatibility the project has in a school's existing curriculum, as the Vstar program is an out-of-class, activity-based learning module, which does not require additional class hours, and thus it can be easily implemented. The Vstar program is not only a success in Thailand, but has proven to be internationally applicable. In 2010, Vstar went to Mongolia. With just five schools and 250 students, now after five years, it has over 400 schools and 20,000 students participating in the program on an annual basis. How was this all achieved? Ancient Buddhist philosophy lists three important groups that directly impact and influence the upbringing of a child. They are parents, teachers, and society. Vstar program is meant to not just bridge the gap between these three parties and the children, but is meant to guide each of these groups on how to educate their youth with moral values in a practical way. Let's look at how this process works. Humans are composed of body and mind. The mind controls the body, and habits control the mind. So, how do habits form? The five senses of sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch continually come in contact with our body. The more contact there is, the more familiar we become with it, and we then formulate opinions about it and use those in our life until eventually leading us to form habits. Good and bad habits are simply repetitive actions that we get used to, and will even make us feel frustrated if we don't do them. According to a commonly known habit theory, if someone repeatedly performs an action for just 21 days, it will eventually become a habit. This is a spin-off of Dr. Maxwell Maltz's research that when people alter their appearance or lifestyle, it generally takes them 21 days to get accustomed to their new environment or situation. So, if repetitive actions are virtuous, then it leads to good habits. The root actions that Vstar focuses on are thought, speech, and bodily actions. Vstar uses four universal virtues. That can be identified within any culture, country, or faith. These can be considered as a foundation for the development of any individual at any age. They are cleanliness, organization, politeness, and punctuality. So the next big question is: Where do we develop our good habits? We spend our life in the places we frequent throughout the day. Vstar put together a combination list of five rooms that people generally use to mold themselves in. These five rooms are bedroom, bathroom, dressing room, dining room, and classroom or workroom. Everyone has something inside them that essentially wants them to be a good person and be happy. It's just that they don't always know how to improve themselves, or they are missing the awareness of where to start. With a little help from Vstar. Along with a helping hand from the parents, teachers, and people in society, these good habits can easily be achieved. But how? That's why Vstar came up with the 10 daily routines performed throughout the day within the five rooms. The 10 daily routines were designed to instill the four universal virtues within the students' daily behavior. 
by having them repeatedly perform actions within the five rooms until it becomes an ingrained habit, just like planting seeds and giving them the nutrition necessary to grow. The ten activities include get up early and make your bed, dress politely and appropriately for school, add to your savings account, put aside money for donations and charity. Display your respects to your parents, relatives, teachers, and elders in society. Find and record some good qualities in those you interact with. Help out with the chores around the house. Read useful and knowledgeable books. Chant or pray before sleeping. Meditate. And observe the five acts of self-discipline, which consist of no killing, no stealing, no sexual misconduct. No false or harsh speech, and no intoxicants. And the results came in. The parents said that there is a closer bond between themselves and their children, and that they now have a closer cooperation with the teachers at school. The teachers said that the students have more concentration, less conflict, return lost things, show gratitude, become more friendly, and have good manners. The students themselves said that they are more confident. More cheerful and happy, have more discipline, understand the importance of respect, and learn to get accustomed to goodness and the good feelings that go with it. The future is now within your hands. V Star helps you to shape the bright future that tomorrow's world needs. Let's start with Nepal.